Hey guys, Cyber Aquarius here. I wanted to tell you all about a product that's been around for as long as I can remember. This is Cellcon by American Marine Incorporated. It's an aquarium fish food enhancer for saltwater systems only, and it boosts the immune system of your fish. And I'm really surprised I'm not hearing you guys talk about this stuff. You can go on BRS, it's a BRS recommended product, or other sites, and just read some reviews for, for some people who've been using it. But people have been using this for decades to help reverse the effects of head and lateral line erosion, as well as fight off other diseases. You have to shake it up really well before you add it to any food. You can get it in the 60 milliliter bottle or a 480 milliliter 16 ounce bottle. But guys, the 60 milliliter bottle is going to last you a really long time. And I think it costs $14 at BRS. But what I do is I add a half a milliliter to a frozen cube of mysa shrimp. And you know how mysa shrimp has the concave in the top, you know, after you pop it out of the packet. I just drip it in right there and let it soak in really good. And I'm going to let this sit out in room temperature for about 10 to 15 minutes. After that, I'm going to go add some RODI water to it. I'll show you guys that here in just a second. But you don't have to refrigerate it. You can just leave it sitting out on your counter. You guys look at the list of ingredients while we're waiting on the Cellcon to soak in. But it contains highly unsaturated fatty acids, marine lipids, 200 milligrams per gram, vitamin C stabilized, and vitamin B12. I went ahead and added about a half a cup of RODI water. I didn't measure it out. Just get enough in there to make sure that the mysis shrimp and the Cellcon is mixed up really good. This is a soupy solution of Cellcon and mysis. These guys know what time it is. It's chow time. My female clownfish never fails. She sees the yellow cup in my hand and she starts going nuts. Now I'm going to turn off the power strip that has my return pump, heater, and wave maker on it. And I'm going to go ahead and dump half the contents of the cup in my tank because I have a 38 gallon. If you have a larger tank, you can dump all the contents in. But I'll just put the other half in the refrigerator for the next day. Now I'll take a spoon, a plastic spoon that you can get at Wendy's. Hey, don't tell them I told you that. But I'll scoop out some of the mice shrimp from the cup and I'll put them in there just to make sure that they get, you know, about half and half. I'll take any of the particles that are stuck to the water surface and I'll push them down to make sure that, you know, all the fish and some of the starfish and hermit crabs can get some of it. Even got some shrimp action going on here. The shrimp love this stuff too. Now I'm just gonna let them feed for a couple minutes and stand here and watch them, make sure that all the food's gone. Guys, I never just throw food in my tank and walk away. I mean, the reason we keep fish is because we enjoy having them and what better time to enjoy them than watching them feed. All right, one last time I'm gonna take my spoon and push down a couple pieces of the mysis shrimp that were trapped on the water surface into the water column. Guys, I highly, highly recommend Cellcon. Just don't take my word for it. Read the reviews all over the internet and you'll see that this stuff is fantastic. I mean, it's cheap, lasts a long time. What have you got to lose? It's guaranteed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my power strip, get my filtration running again. Guys, I really appreciate y'all watching the video. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.